mindset. Hi okay, guys, so to, to generate explosive power, okay, you need to first think it, but then you need to obviously help your body to be able to draw from that thought process of thinking aggressive and thinking explosive. So we need to be able to implement exercises that can do that. And this, this technique I'm gonna show you now is very, very, very important and very simple and basic, but also effective in, in the way that we need it. You don't need a lot of apparatus, just a, a nice light barbell, okay? You can have a weight. This is only a small weight, you're 10 pounds. You can, you can go up to 45 pounds. Uh, for those who are doing kilos, it's like, you know, 10 kilos, 20 kilos, 50 kilos, whatever it is that makes you feel right. I'm just putting this on for the purpose of today's drill, so it doesn't really matter so much. You can get more, you don't want to be too, if it's too heavy, as I say, for example, going to punch, if it's too heavy, I can't move it. You're wanting to develop explosive, fast twitch fibers. So it has to be here where it's super aggressive. And that's in a fight stance with my foot here and my hand here. So then I switch it over to the left side. Here. And I'm exploding and aggressively throwing my jab, my jab, my jab, my jab. So we're doing this to, to generate the punch, full range of motion, explosive and aggressive. The weight obviously is causing the friction between the two. And then we can go from the, uh, a weighted thing and then we're gonna go into an explosive push up. I'm gonna use the bench here today. You can also do it on the floor. It's a little bit easier on, a, on, a, you know, on an incline like this. And then we're just gonna go into an explosive where you try and push and pull you, push yourself up as far as you can, but not too far. Just so you can be more aggressive and fast. So it's like, bah, 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 bah. And by doing that, you're also stimulating your heart rate as well. So it's fight related, fight relevant. So Tony, again, he's gonna come in. He's a beautiful student. He's got a fight coming up. So we're gonna get him doing this. So we're gonna do this for rounds. So we're gonna do, while he's here, we're gonna do three rounds. Okay, so it's gonna be 10 right, 10 left, 10, 10 explosive push-ups, and then back on 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 again. So it'll be 30 reps. Again, we love our 30s. So 30 reps times three sets of this. So let's go, Tony, starting off, let's go aggressive. hold the form while he's doing that of course here just getting the push up just exploding up it's fast twitch fiber it's getting the body to move punching out punching out punching out just a nice 10 reps getting the breathing coming back he might be a little more tired now he still has to be aggressive as he pushes through and he's aggressive with his punches gets his hand up in hand position like a fight and with his hand position up you can see now he's throwing the jab just like he would if he's standing Situation. Nice. And we go to the explosive push up again. Ten, 10 more reps. Jumping through. Push, push, push. So he's starting to fatigue now. Now he's really starting to get into the fatigue where he's tired, but we want to still have explosive power. On his last set now, he's going to finish off with 30 reps. Go, Tony. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Seven. Eight, yeah. Nine, ten. Good. Give us ten reps. Explosive uh, pump. Pump it up. Uh, uh, yes. 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 Good. <laughs> All right. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah. Good job. So you can, as you can see, his heart rate is exploding. His lungs are exploding. He's developing fast twitch fibers, explosive, explosive muscle recruit, recruitment. So then when he is fighting, he can boom, 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 boom. And he's throwing power through that punch because now he's got no resistance because his arm and his hand is, doesn't have the, the, the 25 pound plus the bar, which is 45 pound weight to generate and push through the air. And he's also keeping it explosive and snappy, just like a punch needs to be. It needs to be snappy, not like, uh, uh. You don't want to go slow, you want to be explosive. Snappy, so you're holding in enough resistance to get the snappiness and the jerkiness without being too, too heavy where you can't move. And of course, body weight push up. On an incline, it's a lot easier than on the flat. So I recommend go incline for a while and then when you feel confident, you can go onto a flat and even do a clap push up. As, a, as an example as well, all right? So let's explode, come on. 